Thank you, Reverend. Good morning, everyone. Um, tomorrow would be two weeks uh, since we left to go off to family camp, to youth, well, youth family camp. So just wanting to, uh, obviously, firstly, thank you all uh, for the donations that were given towards the camp. Um, we, you know, we, we express our heartfelt thanks to you all. Um, and just to share some highlights, uh, obviously as the co-chair of Sharing and Experiencing Committee who um, plans the camp, that is for me, um, you know, something that uh, we, we look forward to. There's obviously excitement and camaraderie in that planning, um, the preparation for the camp, the logistics um, that, that has to happen, preparations of meals and itineraries. So even from before going off to camp, you know, there's that excitement. Uh, we, we, we thank the committees, the subcommittees, even the parents as they get involved from the beginning. Um, you know, then there's that drive up to camp. I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's so enjoyable. You know, you're, you have your, whatever music is your preference and you're, you're driving up, it's an hour and a half to Tower Hill. So I feel like that has been something that has been a highlight as well. Um, some of the parents going up with their kids, you know, deciding what music they're listening to. So something, uh, as we get ready for the actual camp activities. Um, there's the meal prep and the cleanup. It really happens so organically. I mean, we don't put too much thought or, or discussion around who is gonna prepare what, but it happens. Um, and, and, and that's just, uh, you know, to show the real spirit of, of our church, of our church family who attends. So sometimes, you know, the, the Reverend might prepare a meal while the kids are at the beach. Um, uh, breakfast happens in the morning, you know, there's these tasty meals. Uh, so just to, to share a bit around the whole meals and, and clean up the kids, you know, help out as well. So the beach is obviously, you know, one of those big highlights going up the dunes uh, for persons who, are, who, who might remember being there at Tower Hill. Um, S'mores, for me, two years ago was the first time I had s'mores. So I, I realized that for me, you know, now I just want maybe just the marshmallows alone, just uh, the, the crackers alone. So the s'mores is another highlight that the kids love. Um, and we have, we're, we're, we're so so grateful and thankful to have a few kids that aren't, aren't, you know, fully church members, but we have taken them in, you know, in our fold as well, and they're, they're all excited to go. We have two of them specifically that attend camp. One big thing though, one highlight, we did painting. So there, this is my painting. And we, um, you know, so the kids obviously painted some look similar and some, you know, variations. So we followed a YouTube video and did painting as well on the last night. There was, you know, quiet moments of reflection where the kids, you know, really shared um, after being probed on some questions from the pastor. So we did have those moments of, of discussion and interaction, uh, just pauses um, before meals usually. So... Uh, just to call out some of the, the highlights, so, as we look forward to 2024, we really want to say um, it would be great if, if it's a, a, an occasion for the entire church, for, for a, a greater representation of the wider church family to attend as well. I know it's normally the kids and their parents, but we, we implore you to think for next year, maybe it's something that the, you know, it can be a, an activity that we, an opportunity for fellowship. So. Thank you all again, and um, we look forward to your continued support.